All right, what's going on everybody? So my name is Jeremy and Don. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, if you're a return, uh, return subscriber, welcome back. Today I'm going to be going over how I quit vaping easily. And in this video, what you're going to see is exactly what I did to finally quit vaping. Guys, I literally tried everything. I like, I struggled for such a long time and failed hundreds of times. I literally, I bought, read, and reread every book you could imagine. I did seminars, I did laser therapy, I did hypnosis, affirmations, subliminal tapes, uh, deep breathing exercises, balancing my chakras, dramatically destroying my vape, uh, having an accountability buddy, hiring an accountability coach, nicotine replacement therapy, gum and patches, uh, lowering the percentage of, of nicotine in my juice to kind of wean myself off of it, switching to cigarettes, smoking weed, retreating to a farm away from all the vape stores to go through withdrawal, um, avoiding triggers by staying away from vaping friends, joining 12-step programs, online groups, etc., 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 etc. I tried it all, guys. Um, if you if you have any that I you think I haven't tried, um, please yeah put it in the comments. I'd be I'd be curious if there's any uh, any possible other methods out there. But yeah, let's get right into it, guys. So I'm gonna tell you what worked for me, what, how I was able to literally quit easily with no withdrawal. No cravings, nothing. Like people literally could vape right in front of me and, and it was, I just had didn't have the desire for it anymore. So this is gonna be a good one, guys. And make sure you stay around to the end of the video because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be giving you access to um, my free series right here on YouTube. You don't have to go to my website or anything. Um, on three steps, to or four steps, three videos, <laughs> on how to quit vaping. And um, kind of just more in depth of what I'm gonna go into this. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna be showing you how you get access to that. So yeah, guys, basically like, I know it sounds too good to me true, but I'm not kidding when I say that I literally enjoyed the process of quitting and I had no withdrawal whatsoever. It was a night and day difference from everything I, I was trying and what I was used to, which was like terrible withdrawal, lasting weeks, being anxious, stressed, and just not having a good time with it whatsoever. First time I hit a vape was in the summer, right before my senior year of high school. My buddy gave me his uh, his vape, you know, when we were driving around in the countryside. Um, it's a pretty normal thing for like being from a, a farm town, you know, just get a bunch of buddies, drive around, right? I, I don't know if anybody's from the country, but um, anyways, yeah, I tried it and immediately I fed I felt very lightheaded, um, nauseous, and I, and I literally immediately puked as soon as I got home. And then later in that year, it seemed like vaping had become like an overnight, just become all the rage and literally like half the kids in school vaped. So, you know, I did it casually, telling myself I'd never be able to be addicted. And um, then I would, you know, then telling myself I would only do it socially. And then I realized I would start specifically seeking out and hanging out with only the people that had vapes. Um, just waiting for the moment where I could casually ask them for their vape without it looking like that was the only reason I went to talk to them. And I basically drifted in the, into the addiction casually, like I'm sure you know most of us did. And eventually one of my friends gifted me, me, me my own vape and um, you know I was, I was hooked and I, I immediately did not like it, guys. I, I started trying to quit pretty soon after and would basically get a new vape on a monthly basis as I would try to quit but then cave. And it had become my crutch, basically, because without it, I was just so stressed. Over the next few years, the buzz I would get from it became less and less intense, and I started to hate it more and more. The intervals between my quits shortened from once a month to once a day. And I was stuck in like an autopilot cycle of telling myself this was the last time I was gonna quit, but then immediately breaking that promise to myself. And um, yeah, I, I whittled down my own self-respect and personal integrity this way because I would say something I didn't believe. Um, you know, when I would say something, I didn't believe in myself that I would actually follow through and do it. So eventually, you know, I, I realized I couldn't just doing the, keep doing the same same thing over and over again and expecting different different results. That's a quote from Einstein. Einstein says, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results is the definition of insanity. So, I, you know, it's like I said, guys, I started opening up my wallet, trying different things. You know, I, like I said, I read every book. Uh, I already went over all the different stuff that I tried earlier today, but like literally thousands of dollars later and none of it worked. Or if it did, it was just like a one trick pony and it only worked for like a couple weeks. I wanted to be free for good, so I, I started reach, um, kept researching online until eventually I was basically able to discover my holy grail that allowed me to quit for good. It was a completely counterintuitive approach to quitting that finally set me free. 
and what it was was deeply you know it involved me deeply studying psychology and like how the brain works but like look simply put it's easy to not do something when your brain doesn't have a perceived logical or emotional reason or benefit to do it right when there's no perceived benefit there's no pleasure out of doing that activity right um yeah like there's there's no reason to do it it makes like it's very easy for me to not bash my head against the wall right now because there's no benefit of doing that right i have no i do not see a single benefit of doing that right like nothing at all it's not gonna feel make my head feel good it's not gonna calm me down it's not gonna make me concentrate right but like vaping is literally you constantly bashing your head against the wall for the relief of when it stops that's literally what it is guys because look you know let's take stress for example this is you know my favorite example or it's the one that just I can communicate the easiest but literally it's like 20 of these reasons that most people have um, for why they vape you can take my quiz below to do that open it in a new tab so you can keep watching this video but um because you want to make sure to get access to that course um, that series but um look so stress people think that nicotine helps them cope with stress but actually it creates the illusion of helping you cope with stress by creating more stress with withdrawal and then relieving that stress about 90% of the way with that next dose of nicotine. Nicotine is a stimulant. It can't calm you down, it can't relieve stress, it can't soothe you. It puts you into fight or flight mode and then when you don't have it, it makes you freak out and panic and then and you never have it enough. It, it, you never have enough. It never takes you back to just being completely unstressed like a non-vapor. Um, that's what I'm saying. Vaping is literally like bashing your head against the wall for the relief of when it stops, right? So basically what I did is I started walking myself through uh, debunking these 20 or so reasons that I had. And it took a lot of time, a lot of self-reflection, a lot of like just analyzing myself. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, so basically I debunked, I did all, a bunch of research into those things. Like I said, I've got a quiz that you can take that will make this really easy for you, that like will literally save you like those thousands of dollars I spent and you know that all that self-reflection I did because most people have about 20 of those reasons. A lot of people have less, you know, but most, yeah, there's about 20 or so reasons you want to debunk for yourself. Um, but look, literally I want you to ask yourself this. Why do I view nicotine as a temptation? Because the only reason you desire something is because, you know, or the reason you te are tempted by something, right? is because you desire it, right? That's why I've been able to have people vape right in front of me and have all the temptations in the world, but not be tempted. Because you can only be tempted is if you see it as a temptation, right? Um, so yeah, like why do you view nicotine as a temptation? What is it about it that makes you tempted? Then ask yourself why until you get the real reason, right? There's a, a saying, there's a really smart guy, I forget what his name is, that said the way to ask, the way to find the real reason is to ask why three times. But like, so look, why do you view it as a temptation? You know, you might say something like, I just think it'll, it'll, you know, provide me with relief. Why? From what? Stress, and it'll help me calm down. Well, why does a stimulant calm me down? Because I'm stressed because of withdrawal. Why do you have withdrawal? Because you vape. So it's like, literally, the only reason you vape is to feel like somebody that doesn't vape. But yeah, like, like I said, if you dig deep into this process, um, you'll find that the only reason you ever have to vape is to feel like somebody that doesn't vape in the first place. Um, that's literally it, guys. But um, yeah, it makes it really easy not to vape because you've already achieved the goal you would get by vaping by not doing it, right? It switches the goal, the perceived route to being less stressed. I hope that makes sense, guys. Anyways, you wanna get access to my series. Um, so if you scroll to the very bottom of the description, um, there's a link there to a playlist so click that check that out there's three videos make sure you watch them in order guys that's very important I can't stress that enough watch them in order um, it's meant to be consumed in that way and um, yeah you basically there were if you, if you hear me saying stuff like oh you know I'll see you in the next video tomorrow on those it's because they were um, planned um, basically made to be released one per day but um, yeah, guys, that's basically it. So hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the series at the bottom of the description, guys. And um, also take the quiz if you want to. It's also in the description there. And check out some of my other videos. But um, yeah, and if you want more content like this, make sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I release a new video every day along with a bunch of shorts. I release like, I've been doing like three shorts a day. So um, yeah, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video.